Come on, Uncle Shay Shay. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan, and he like the ravens, like the ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two team, keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven. So you two team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And Shannon Sharp. Ah, Shannon Sharp, he let me down, man. I was very disappointed in Shannon Sharp. Uh, not even for what he initially said. Even though we're going to talk about that too. But it was his response to somebody about what he initially said. So, so y'all don't have to be in the dark. Let's hear Shannon Sharp's original comments. Oh, Skip, I don't get it. Dude's on the verge of getting generational wealth, $200 million. And I know, Skip, you know, you just having fun. But do you know, any, I mean, you don't ask for a sudden move, you know, a non-contract injury. We just saw Sarge. We saw Jamal Murray. We saw guys lose a season. Why, Lamar? I mean, we've seen Lamar do some risky things. We saw him driving excessive speed. We see him playing on the beach. Lamar, it's not worth it. You are a professional athlete. You don't have anything to prove. Bro, just sit back, get this money, and when it's all said and done, if you want to go out there and have a camp, and you want to challenge these young guys, have at it. But, bro, don't mess your money up being dumb. Come on, Lamar, you better than this, brother. I, I just don't get these guys doing stuff like this. Yeah, we just saw uh, uh, the guy that's suing the Broncos. He tore his uh, Achilles and he lost $10 million. Awesome. Off the field. If Lamar, if you get hurt, get on hurt on the Ravens' time. Shannon Sharp is going to get hurt on the Broncos or the Ravens' time. I'm not doing anything foolish. I'm not skiing. I'm not doing anything that's going to jeopardize my money. Lamar, it's not. It's, you, you tell me that's worth it? And I know people like that. Oh, he's just having fun. It's all fun and games. And then, then you're going to say if something would have happened, knock on wood, it didn't happen. Oh, he shouldn't have done that. So yet again, like we talked about before, is somebody else continuing to bank on the what ifs, the what could have beens, and not what actually is. We talked about this in the previous video that with Lamar Jackson, people continue to be like, oh, this could happen. Oh, that could happen. But they don't like to talk about what actually goes down. And yes, I understand the concern for Lamar Jackson. People saying they don't want him to get injured, which we don't want him to get injured. That's true. But at the same time, they're not looking at the bigger picture. This dude's impact from him, from him just coming through alone and having the event alone, the impact that that'll have on so many kids' lives, you just don't know, man. You just don't know. And then on top of that, him talking to them and engaging with them, saying what's up to them, that has another impact on their life. And then to take it up another notch, him actually playing with them, throwing the football with them, playing cornerback, playing receiver with them. Like, hey, I'm one of y'all too. I know what it's like to be here. I know what it's like. When you can find somebody, this is not just in football or business, it's just in life, period. When you can find somebody that can relate to you that can take your relationship with them to a whole nother level and that can take how you feel about them to a whole nother level whole nother level with lamar jackson out of speeding the speeding in the car okay yeah I, nah that one <laughs> can't give him no pass for that one but it happened and it's done and what was that two years ago i think and then with the jet ski I, i've been seeing so many people bring up the jet ski again recently he evaded the jet ski. He moved out the way of the jet ski. And I know a lot of people, oh, but this could have happened. That could have happened. That could But it did not happen. We have to stop living in this, oh, man, this could have happened to him. But it didn't. It did not. And with Lamar Jackson, another thing that people have continued to say, man, if Lamar got hurt, he lose out on so much money. Oh man, he will lose it, lose it all. Let me um remind you of something. If Lamar Jackson got hurt, of course we don't want him to at all, but if he got hurt, he would still be paid. He would still be paid. Let me remind you of this other quarterback named Dak Prescott. Now, they obviously are in two different situations because Dak Prescott he was under the franchise tag. Under the franchise tag, got hurt, missed the rest of the season. Oh, man. What's going to happen with Dak Prescott now? Is he going to be a free agent? Is the Cow the Cowboys going to go in a different direction? No. They still paid Dak Prescott, and they paid him a record-breaking deal. A record-breaking contract. Because the Dallas Cowboys knew the impact that Dak Prescott has on that franchise. Now, I know it's going to be a lot of jokes in the comment section about that one. But... 
You get what I'm saying? So the Ravens, who have been a more successful franchise recently than the Dallas Cowboys, they certainly know the impact that Lamar Jackson has had on these Baltimore Ravens. So Lamar Jackson would still get paid. He would still be taken care of. Now, the only difference it would be is that things might be put on hold for a little bit. But I guarantee you, I, gu I guarantee you without a doubt that Lamar Jackson would still be paid. But anyway, back to Shannon Sharp with his comments about Lamar Jackson. Saying it's not worth it, it's not this, it's not that. Okay, cool, whatever. But this, this is where you really lost me, Sharp. This is where you really lost me, Unk. Come on, Shay Shay. That, no, this was not it. Terrible comparison. Somebody replied to him. They said, I feel you, Unk, but relax. And that's what we've been telling a lot of people. Just relax. But then Shannon Sharp took it here. He said, remember... When you others and said, I guess he was trying to say when you and others said, I, I don't know. But anyway, remember when you others and said, Josh Gordon was living life and weed wasn't harmful. When he smoked away 50 to 70 million dollars uh, because of failed drug tests. What's your thoughts now? This was a terrible comparison. You know how somebody <laughs> like, they'll walk up to the mic and they'll be like, oh. I'm about to kill him with this one. And they say what they got to say, and it's just silence like, what? Really? That's what kind of moment this was. Shannon Sharp compares Lamar Jackson playing football with kids. Playing football with kids, encouraging kids. He compares that to Josh Gordon smoking his career away. Like, really? That, what? How? Like... <laughs> Oh, it's like when people don't have a valid point, they tend to go reach. They reach for the stars. And I love Shannon Sharp. I love Shannon Sharp. I love him and Skip. I, I love that how they go back and forth. I love how they get on each other's nerves. I love it. Love it. I enjoy that show. I enjoy hearing them talk about so many different topics, whether it's about NFL, whether it's about NBA, whatever. I, I enjoy it and I appreciate it. And I always love Shannon Sharp, his personal experiences, whether it's with him and his brother, whether it's with him and other NFL players, when he talks about his grandmother. I love all his different experiences. But this example, man, this, this was a terrible example because you're, you're comparing Josh Gordon, what he did, which was illegal in the NFL at that time. NFL was like, no, no can do. We ain't, do, we ain't dealing with that. That was illegal in the NFL at that time. And yeah, he did lose a lot of opportunities because of because he kept getting suspended and suspended and suspended and suspended and suspended. Then he got kicked out a couple times. But for Lamar Jackson, you're comparing somebody who has been kicked out of the league and suspended multiple times because of something that was uh, illegal in the NFL to somebody who had an event. Somebody who had an event for kids in their community and, and they were playing with them. Yes, it was on a basketball court. You're comparing those two? That's, no, that's not going to fly, man. That's not going to fly because that, it just does not make any sense. Now, we know his, his, his common point was that, oh, both could possibly lose out on a lot of money. But guess what? Guess where we are again? What we've been talking about, the what ifs and not the what is. Again, Josh Gordon, he lost out on a lot of money. He certainly did. But Lamar Jackson is still sitting right there in front of him. And we could hear about any day now, man. Any day now we could hear about Lamar Jackson signing a new deal. And speaking of Lamar Jackson, the clapback was so nice that he had to do it twice. And I hadn't even caught this before yesterday's video. Oh, but we're catching it now. Because Lamar Jackson, of course, on Twitter, he tweeted out, it's better to have them kids out there having fun than playing with guns and stuff. So next year, we're running it back with even more fun. So that was already his response to all these people saying this and that about Lamar Jackson playing with the kids at his LJ Fun Day. 
But then the caption on Instagram that he put, he said, we running it back next year as well. I appreciate the parents. Hey, that's me. Uh, bringing the kids out. And that's Carter. Uh, to have some fun at my third annual injury free fun day event. Hashtag trust. So Lamar Jackson. Oh, we, we know again, Lamar Jackson. He don't clap back too often. Lamar Jackson, he don't respond too often. But when he does, Lamar Jackson does. And he does it in the pettiest way. He won't name call nobody. He won't call nobody out. But you will know exactly who he's talking to. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Shout out to Graven.